We're here at the Venetian, where the opening keynote at CES 2013 just ended. Paul Jacobs, CEO of Qualcomm, was the speaker. And it's kind of notable that he was, just because of a little bit about Qualcomm and who they are. And I'll turn it over to Eric for that. Well, Qualcomm, of course, is a company that makes uh, chips for mobile devices. Um, it's not the kind of high wattage speaker that um, some people were hoping they might get. Um, this is the first year in the last 15 that it was not a Microsoft CEO uh, that did the opening night keynote at CES. It's been Bill Gates or Steve Ballmer for a long time. There was a lot of drama around who it was going to be, and then when people heard Paul Jacobs from Qualcomm, it was a little surprising. But it's, it is very symbolic to have someone who is so tied to the mobile industry do the keynote. There was some data that uh, the Consumer Electronics Association, which sponsors um, the show here, uh, issued yesterday, which said basically, Two categories of consumer electronics goods will grow the market in 2013. Tablets, smartphones, everything else is shrinking. And so if there was ever a year to have a smartphone CEO, a smart uh, device related CEO do the keynote, this was the year. And we actually believe the data demand may go as high as 1,000 times what it is today. But we're working on technologies to help network operators handle a thousand times the data traffic and drive the cost down too. And that's our goal. At Qualcomm, we call it the thousand X challenge. Now you said that this is the first time that Balmer or Gates didn't give the keynote, but we did have a special guest appearance and maybe you could talk about that and what he came out to talk about. Yes, we did have a, it was, I have to say, you know, the show doesn't officially begin until tomorrow morning, uh, but we've been here for a day and a half already. The biggest surprise we've seen so far was the guest appearance of, you guessed it, Steve Ballmer showed up on stage and for the first 10 minutes or so of Paul Jacobs' keynote just took over. Um, it was really a remarkable uh, performance. Steve has a big personality, bigger than Paul's. Um, and he talked a lot about uh, Windows Phone. Um, he's really excited about uh, Windows 8 and all the great uh, Windows tablets and everything is He's just really worked up in that sort of Steve Ballmer way. Windows tablets are the only tablets in the world with Office. And I think the capability to not only be, to have some fun, but to be really productive. It was an interesting moment. It gave it a little bit of a continuity with the last 15 years of keynotes at CES. Um, people were kind of excited to see him actually because he wasn't supposed to be here. Microsoft is not uh, taking any boot space on the show floor this year either. It's not just that they're not doing keynotes. So that was kind of a nice surprise. So this is my first CES, but I know you've been to many, many of these. And I guess if you were to wrap it up about what you expect the show to be about, mobile, tablets, smartphones, how would you wrap it up for people? Yeah, this is a big year for mobile devices. Uh, we've been hearing the last, uh, this today and yesterday, a lot about televisions in particular because some of the press events have been around the large uh, Asian consumer electronics companies that are showing 4K, these very high definition televisions, but they're so expensive and there's so little content, you're not going to see a lot of sales uh, of them, but people are excited, it's the next thing, it's a new, new thing. But there is going to be a lot of focus around connected devices, um, everything from using your mobile phone as a, a remote control for a television, to be able to connect devices, to, uh, mobile de devices to your car, to your home appliances, all those kinds of things. So it's it's really going to be about mobility, um, and not just tablets and phones, but the way you use them and interact with other devices. So we'll be seeing a lot of those kinds of things over the next few days for sure. Okay, well, that's it from CES. One note, we did end this keynote on a high note. Maroon 5 did some acoustic versions of their songs, which are well worth checking out. So